<sighs> Guys, look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's cold. Okay, so we're headed to PetSmart this morning to just pick up some essentials and whatnot. We started our training today. So we're focusing first on get having her get to know her name and having her like come to us. And then we're working on um, trying to get her to go into her kennel and like see that as like a, a safe space and like a, like a bed instead of like a cage, you know? Um, so yeah, she's actually doing pretty well, which is very exciting. And oh, I'm trying to think. The only thing that we're like concerned about right now. Oh, hold on. Yeah, guys, she does not like the cold so far. Oh my goodness, yes. She's winking. <laughs> so which one are we going to? Um, the one in Bellevue is what I was thinking. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, the only thing that we're like concerned about right now is just like living on the fifth floor when she has accidents inside. We don't know if like it would be productive for us to quickly run her downstairs and have her like understand that she has to pee outside because like I feel like by the time we get outside <laughs> she's gonna forget that like she like went to the bathroom inside like you know or she'll pee on the elevator floor <laughs> yeah so we might just for the next three months that we're in this apartment that's so crazy it's coming so fast um are we gonna have three months yeah like but that's not including this one oh. it is including this one so like two two and a half months almost two and a half two. um dang that's, that's wild so we figured that we'll just have her like redirect her to a pee pad instead yeah i'm not a huge fan of pee pads um but i think for the time being like that's what's gonna work but we might not even have to do that as often because i think we want to try to take her out every hour mm -hmm. so that she can just understand like oh i need to go to the bathroom and I think it's good for us because like we spend a lot of time watching TV when we're not like out yeah. grinding And so it's good. We just need to spend the extra quality time with the puppies yeah. um, And just like make sure that they get really well um, good and trained um, But yeah So we're at PetSmart right now and we got the the collar and the um, the leash for her and it's so foreign for her because this is the first time she's ever had it on yeah she's really freaked out yeah she freaked out she peed on the floor and then rolled in it <laughs> with her face it. fell in it <laughs> but she's not happy about the leash hey it's okay girl it's okay <laughs> such a cutie hey girl What's up? Okay, so we have the leash, the collar, <laughs> <laughs> and then we got these bones because she just is already loving to chew things. And we are getting the flea medication. Nice. So, yeah, she's over it. She's over this shopping trip. And we found out that she weighs six pounds. Six pounds. It's because of her huge gut that she has. <laughs> Oh, okay. Her chunky baby gut. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, girl. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, good girl. Let's go. Okay, we're back at it again. Making another one. Has it even been a month since we made the last one? <laughs> so Luna will have one and North will have one. And then we'll get one for Star. Oh just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But in case you guys don't know, this is the little tag that goes on the collar. On the collar that you know. It's so basic. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel bad because we did the basic one for a little bit. Oh, wow. Uh... Alright guys, she is out cold right now. She's 
breathing was so fast. <laughs> hey girl, we're almost home. Hello. Look how tiny your ears are. <laughs> Guys, when she sleeps at home, she like literally looks like a little wolf. Yeah, seriously, especially when her ears are like up. Yeah. She looks like a wolf. It's so cute. So, so cute. <laughs> a class going on over there right now and I just finished my classes for the night. The person who's usually in the office on Tuesday nights actually can't come to work until Thursday um, just for safety protocols. Um, so I am sticking around and I decided to just stay in the studio so that I could just have some peace and quiet to finish editing today's vlog. I don't like editing vlogs when like people can see like personal vlogs i don't care about like creative videos and stuff but personal stuff for some reason i just don't like people watching me do that <laughs> mainly because like i don't think anyone here knows i do daily vlogs and so if they see it, me just editing a video of myself like i don't know i don't like when people watch me edit videos of myself i just feel really weird about it anyway so i'm in the studio i was going to work on some dances but um actually i guess i do have some time maybe i will maybe i'll work on some breaking moves i don't know because there's the advanced breaking class going on over there so like if they peek in <laughs> i felt really good about my classes tonight and i just wanted to share that because recital season is definitely very stressful it's it's interesting with this job i feel like it's easy to think like oh being a dance teacher is probably so easy but really like there's a lot of stress that comes with it because there's always something that we're preparing for you know like during the holidays it's nutcracker and also competition season like we're preparing for competition season and now we're in competition season and now we're starting recital pieces to perform in june like there's always something going on um and it also depends like how involved you are but I am pretty much involved with everything. Nutcracker was the only thing that I wasn't involved with, um, but it was still kind of stressful because I wasn't involved as a choreographer, but like I was still like helping behind the scenes and stuff. So there's always something going on that we're like try scrambling to like get ready for. And I swear you always run out of time. So I'm trying to stay on top of it with my recital pieces. They already started later than I would like to because I ended up getting sick during the time that I wanted to originally start them. So yeah, starting like a whole month later than when I wanted to start, but that's okay. I feel like today went smoothly and I feel like they're all ready to move on next week, which is really all I'm asking for at the end of each class is that next week, can we move on? But yeah, guys, I love being a dance teacher so much. It's just so fun. It's so rewarding. It's just amazing to watch these kids get out of their comfort zone. Tonight in my advanced class, a lot of them struggle with confidence with freestyle and tonight i told them i was like okay i'm gonna give us some mood lighting so i turned the lights off i like opened up the blinds so that the lighting from outside could stream in and so it was like it was nice and like dark in here but like they could still see but like it made them feel a little bit more comfortable to just like be themselves and it was so awesome guys it was like a full-on party oh my gosh we were all like yelling and clapping and cheering each other on like it was so awesome to see them like that like it, I don't even think they realize this, but like it just like made me feel so happy and so good seeing all of them just have so much fun and to like see that confidence getting just a little bit better. And that's really all like I'm trying to help them with is just like building their confidence. So yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna end my night with dancing because I mean I have to wait for this to upload anyway. So maybe I'll just work on some pieces while I wait. I just, the reason I have to be here still is because there's another class happening after this and I need to check them in. So that's why I'm here. 
but yeah and normally i don't know i i would take that class but guys the last two nights i have not slept very much i know it seems like i have energy right now it's because i was in teacher mode and i just had to get energy somewhere but i know it's about to plummet in probably like 15 minutes so i want to take this class but at the same time i'm like it's on it's basically like the first day with our puppy and i just yeah Let's just go home. It's okay. I, I'll be able to take my, my class on Thursday for sure. I mainly want to take the one on Thursday anyway, so that one I prioritize. But yeah, I think I'm going to dance for a little bit. Okay, this is what I've learned in my breaking class. backspin I've done ever. <gasps> what? I'm so glad I got that on video. <sighs> Alright guys, I realized that that didn't look amazing at all. Like, I realized that. But it's like actually kind of difficult at first to get that. And I was doing so awful last Thursday when I was learning that. Like, it was so, so bad. I would just immediately get off balance and fall on my side. So the fact that I stayed on my back, <sighs> improvement, improvement. That's what I'm looking for.